Cabbage Kids, how's it going? Today we're gonna to be doing a behind the scenes video of our new song, Light Years Away, the cover. So that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, so it's just come out and we decided to just kinda of show you the actual project and how, how everything was made. So hope yeah. you enjoy. All right, let's jump yeah. in. Yeah, okay. So anyways, uh, looking at this now, we'll just start, we'll start with like the, like the piano chord part. So. The piano chords are pretty simple chords. If you look at it, just a bunch of like four chords pattern will play it for you. So the piano part really is like the basis of everything. It's an Napa cabbage sound. We always yeah. have a good piano playing part. We playing. actually use two pianos a lot of the time. Exactly. So we have, yeah. in a lot of our songs, we got this piano. Mm -hmm. That's like our harder piano. And then sometimes, and then on top of that, we use this. Yeah. And this is like our classic Napa cabbage piano. Um, yeah. It's just got more. It's got. There yeah. you go. You can really hear it now. Oh, there it's you go. got a lot of like. Um, pads and it's that oh, nice. It's got a lot yeah, of. It's pads. got a lot of pads and yeah. it's just full. It's not and it's more it's more airy on top. So yeah. like with the co combined with the actual like hard piano, it just sounds really nice. Yes. Um, okay, so those are the chords. Um, going on from there, let's like really dive in here. Open it up. Okay, so you got the chords here first. Um, got everything in these groups. So, like the main core of the song is, oh, we'll just play it right here. So you got the main chords, which is those, with the high. We brought the high kind of from the actual original song because that's what they were playing in there. Oh, yeah, we kind of yeah in octaves we just <laughs> we just play what they yeah. were playing their riff. Just wanted to really shout out to the original. It's dope yeah, song. That's a good song. Yeah. Um, we have a guitar in here, just doing some strums like this. Add uh, some little, little flavor muted. to it, a little rhythm, and then we added a, a plucks here on top. Play like the melody. Yeah. Okay, going from there, we got another synth. Let's just do 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 something like that. Yeah, the violins, because they're amazing. Yeah, strings. So it's always cool to add some orchestral you know, elements to your track. You know, everybody digs it. No. Um, on top of that, we, had, we found this cool little uh, piano sample, actually, that fit. Which just doesn't even yeah. actually sound like it would fit the song. Yeah. But together with the other one. It gives you a real good, like, 80s rap kind of vibe. Yeah. Like Tupac and, and stuff. Then, but yeah, it totally just fits. And then here you get the whole thing. So it's just pretty huge. Oh, obviously the side chain is on there too. But yeah, just take the, the side chain off. Well, it would yeah. sound. Okay, so that's like the melody section. So that was kind of big, like the bass, like the bass of the entire song. Mm -hmm. um, so we use those elements all through the entire thing. Like if you see it from the verse. The intro and the verse, we slowly bring these elements in to really build it together. Like a lot of times on some songs, you'll take a lot of these melody, like verse instruments out, and then you'll add in like, like your saw instruments here, your chords, your hard chords for the drop. But we like to actually just bring a lot of it in together and meld it together as one. Um, speaking of going into the next part of the drop, because the drop's, you know, the happiest part of the song, most intense part, we'll go into our saws here. So. <clears throat> we have a sub bass that we will have. We have our bass sub here, which is just like thick. I don't know, depending on what you're listening on right now, you might not be able to hear it. Um, one good tip, by the way, for you guys' subs, when you're doing sub bass is, um, uh, where is it? Where is it here? Just the channel. Window. And we're lagging. Look at that, mm -hmm. beach ball. Okay, anywho. Um, if I was to open up this compressor, it's nice to see if you could try to keep your, if you could try to keep your bases between 50 to a hundred in this kind of area, it'll come out way more on like smaller speakers, like your phones, your iPod headphones, things like that, where most people are actually listening to them these days. Um, so that's just a cool tip. Like when we used to do it, we used to have a lot of stuff sitting yeah. way low, yeah. like where you can just feel it, barely hear yeah. it. And you can't hear it until we take it to the car and we're like, wow, we just hammed that shit up. Yeah. So basically, yeah, a cool tip, go 50, like a hundred, keep it in there. It'll sound really good every time. Moving on though, then you go into the saw. So then we have our saw bases. 
which sound like this. It's like a dirty bass. I'll play it with the sub, right? Why not? Oh, just hit the mic. There we go. There you go. What's the sub and the saw? We have we added this little other saw mid sound to sounds like oh yeah. Just a little to fill up like the mid range area, you know. Um, that's a, that's like the low end of the of like the subby low end there for the chords. Um, <clears throat> this is probably our most go to chord right here. Yeah. Right. It's yeah. just it's just got like a lot of dirt. Yeah, I got a lot of dirt. Really. Um, if you really look like obviously it's frozen right now, so we don't crash our computer. But we throw in a sausage fattener on there, an OTT. Uh, a Saturn for more saturation. So that's like triple saturation, and OTD is like a multi-band compressor, so you're just squishing the crap yeah, out of it. Yeah, squishing the crap out of it, but it sounds thick. Fat as <laughs> fat. Yeah, then we got our, uh, just a simple EQ, which is basically just carving out the low, carving out the high, getting that mid sound. And then we use an imager to get a little wider. Also on the bus of this entire thing, because you know how much we love OTT, we actually sauce it first. We sauce it fat yeah. to the whole thing again, again. Yeah. with all the chords, obviously. Um, spread it all out a little bit bigger. Did a lot of EQing. Um, it's also really nice to do a bunch of smaller EQ adjustments depending on what you're doing. Um, like cut the low end one, and then after you've done that, then you have a new EQ where you can take that sound that's already been processed and then re-EQ it in like more shapes. It's just, yeah. it's so just you get more control. Yeah. There you go. Uh, then we spread out the whole thing, <laughs> ET, OTT. OTT. Use a filter, obviously, to bring it in as it's coming in, um, and then the side chain and stuff like that. But here, so these, that's the main chord. Got like a higher chord here. Another one. Depending on what you're doing, sometimes we will have with all the different chords, we'll change different like uh, what do you call it? Variation. Oh, I keep octaves. Up. Octaves and. Um, but what do, you, what do you call it when you change inversions? Inversion. We'll use different inversions of the chords too, so it's hitting different frequencies. And then we got this moving one. Okay, and then it brings us to the leads. So the leads are like the. So first, before we play the leads, just to play the chords, this is what it sounds like. Nice and fast. Huge. Good. You add in the side chain. Gives a lot of pump. There you go. So you got that fullness. So that's pretty cool. You can see like on our side chain, we'll do like, we bring it in from this audio track up top. We're doing like third minus 30 threshold on this. So it's a lot of pump early, quick attack about four and a half ratio and a short release. Get to get, that's how you get those real like like Elenium style. You get really deep in those side chains. Okay, so that's what that sounds like. Then we added the core or the leads. The leads of the song are like this. Very dreamy, hmm. right? Um, your first one is that's like the it's kind the of, bulk of it, yeah. yeah, the bulk of it, the squiggly one. And then we have this one. Just fills up the high register there. Okay, so you play it all together. I'll just solo that, solo the, solo the sub. And then you bring in the melodies on top. So there you go. So that's like the whole thing together. Um, you quickly come to the drums. Like I don't want to waste you guys' time, but here we go. We got, like you got your, we got one kick here. Oh, it's actually, let's go back to like the pre-chorus here. So we added a second kick for the. Okay, just so it changes it up. We got a reverse kick in the drop to really suck you into it. So it sounds like this. Oh, wait. There you go, if you can hear that. It depends on your speakers. Um, with our snares, we like to fill up the snares. We got five snares playing. No, what? Um, four snares and snaps and a block sound. So the snares all together sound like this. Yeah, nice. Huge. Fat, huge. 
we like to build into it so we find our huge snare for the drop and then we kind of slowly build into it so you have the snaps things like that and you get a huge sound um that's the snares top drums we got a bunch of different sounds we got a ride sound oh we use this cool grand theft sound from splice yeah it's just nice yeah. groove with like the sticks and stuff yeah so gives us some motion and uh, then you get your standard effects just some up sweeps down sweeps crashes white noise um, don't forget the white noise it's mm. it's like a huge impact difference like if you play the chords i'm just going to show you if you play the chords with the white without the white noise you add the white noise which sounds like this by itself so without with yeah really fills it up right? so much more boring without it and then we, I, we we like to put these big crashes in there it's like during the drop so, and then we have a couple of extra effects just here at the bottom. I don't even remember what they all do, but let's just see. Yeah, just more crashes yeah, and effects crashes and things and like that. Right. So entirely without Sam's voice, the song sounds like this. And we're both bobbing our heads like crazy idiots. <laughs> but if you're not bobbing your head at the same time, Anyways, moving on. Um, yeah, for a side chain, it's just we just use have a separate channel here. We just use the same kick, the main kick of the song, because it's the same speed as what we wanted, anyways. But then we have more control by putting it on a separate track. Um, yeah, I think later on we're gonna start making more videos that kind of just go deeply into these like individual topics. But that's from another day, or for another day. Now I'm gonna let Sam take it over here, and we're gonna talk about your vocals. Yeah. Well, actually, it's just really simple. I mean, okay, besides the fact that we had to pretty much relearn, like, well, learn the whole language. So what we had to do... Yeah, Sam had yeah, to relearn the language. Well, learn the whole language. Because I, I when we pulled out the lyrics, I could read about, like, 20% of it. So we really had to kind of rely on a lot of pinyin, and we had to listen to the original a lot to know the pronunciation, and then just go from there, right? So all together, but let's talk about what we did for the voice part of it, like how we picked it. So the original had a bit of like a floaty voice, like you know how Jem did it, you know, because she's such a great singer. She had like a, a very floaty vibe to capture kind of the fact that, you know, you're in space and you're passengers and the space theme and things like that. But then how we wanted to do it because... Um, we know that we're going to be laying a bunch of fat, fat sounds in it. We decided to kind of be like, hey, let's kind of get a bit of like a rock inspiration in the middle and things like that. And, you know, a bit of, um, yeah, so we decided to go with the more pushy, um, hardcore rock style vocal um, to kind of like really cut through all the chords because there's a lot of fat sounds and stuff like that. Yeah. 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 So we open it up. You got, so here's the, here's Sam's lead voice. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we got a reverb here. We uh, love the Valhalla Room reverb. Um, so that's that one. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And we got. What are we, we got? Yeah, cut an imager on that, make it a little bigger, and a delay. Yeah, I think that's enough for the explanation. Yeah. yeah so anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so well, okay, let's just play the whole thing all together, everything in one piece, and, and, and well, I just want I just want to quickly hit. So so we also have his doubles here. Oh yeah. So you got the doubles. There's you. Sam gets really conscious. So yeah, I, self -conscious have you himself. ever like, you know, recorded yourself and you're just like, ah, oh, I don't want to hear it. But what are you going to do? Yeah. <laughs> and then what we do is we added a low voice. Yeah. And then a high voice. And then a little bit of harmony. So together you got cool yeah so that's the entire song so yeah. now we'll play it just a part of it together to everything together as for layout of the song you can see here so for layout of the song it was basically like an intro his voice came in some little effects there's the drop, went into a little more of a drum section in the second part right here with these drums. And then back into the pre-drop, 
little, little what would you call that? Just like a little breakdown. A little breakdown. Yeah, thank you. A little breakdown. Um, and then back to the drop. That was it. All right. So there you go. So that's go. Uh, that's how we made uh, this yeah, uh, light, light years away, away cover. And now we uh, just you know picked all the parts and made the saws and stuff like that. So hope you had a great time. Yeah. Hope you learned something today. Exactly. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Yeah. Don't forget to leave <laughs> oh, a comment before Sorry. and subscribe and click, and, uh, click the bell. Yeah. If you like more, if you want more covers or have any suggestions, just let us know. All right. Okay. Peace. peace. <laughs>